Hello everyone, my name is Lee Lucas and I'm here to talk to you today about astigmatisms. Astigmatisms is an, uh, is an especially important subject to me because I have a rare form of astigmatism in my left eye called keratoconus, which makes my eyesight extremely bad. Before we get started, I'd like to do a little test with everyone. Can everyone look at this right here? Oh, man, we got this here. Um, can everyone look at astigmatism right here and cover up one of your eyes with your hand? Look at it for a second, now change hands and cover up your other eye. Did anyone notice a difference in clarity between their eyes? Or does anyone have uh, contacts in or glasses on right now? Raise your hand. Good, that's common because 50 to 70 percent of the adult population has some form of astigmatism according to the distribution of astigmatism in the adult population written in 1995 by Allison McKendrick. Today I'm going to talk to you about what an astigmatism is, how it can affect you, how you could recognize an astigmatism, and what kind of treatments are available for you if you do have one. According to the American Optometric Association, updated in 2011, an astigmatism is a common form of an eye disease that gives you blurry vision due to either an irregularly shaped cornea or um, a, a astigmatism that uh, occurs in the clear front part of your eye. This is a diagram of an eye, and an astigmatism uh, that occurs that uh, makes your cornea irregularly shaped would make this outer part of your eye longer. This would reflect the light and the focal points back at the eye would um, be in different positions giving your brain that um, gets its messages from the retina at the back. It would give you false um, images about where everything is um, so you'd have an extremely awkward depth perception. Astigmatism in the clear front part of the eye um, would give you a cloud, would um, allow the light going through the lens to have a very cloudy feel so the focal points would send messages to your brain that would make everything fuzzy. And a good example of this is this picture right here. The left would be um, someone with an astigmatism in the clear front part of the eye, and the right would be a normal person with 20-20 vision. As you can see, this could kind of be dangerous, and um, undiagnosed astigmatisms actually account for deaths in the United States because, let's say you're working in a lumber yard, and you think a log's coming this way when actually it's over here, you can move the wrong way, hurt yourself, or hurt someone else. Um, also, astigmatisms affect every part of your life because you use your eyes for basically everything. I'd also like to point out that astigmatisms are highly hereditary, so if your mother or father or anyone in your family has one, it's a good idea to get checked out even if you don't think that the clarity um, from the test we just did was different. Um, because of these things, it's very um, important to recognize an astigmatism, and you can do this through a number of way, ways. The first would be um, a test like we did in the beginning of class, which would just let you know if you have um, unclear vision um, and like differences in your eyes. And if you think that you have unclear vision, you should probably go to the doctor and get a comprehensive eye exam. It's a pretty routine uh, procedure, and what it is, is it, it's like three parts. Um, the first will be the visual acuity test, which is when you stand 20 feet from the wall, and you look at the board with the EMZ on it, um, and it would go down in increasing, uh, decreasing size. The next would be a kerat keratometry test. Keratometry is um, a system that measures the curvature of your eye. It's when you put your chin on the bar and it blows the air in your eye, it's really annoying. Um, this is measured by a keratometer and it basically gives you a little 3D MRI image of your eye so the doctor will better know if you have an astigmatism or not. If he does um, think that you have an astigmatism, he'll order a refraction test, which is when he gets multiple lenses and puts them in front of your eye. Um, he, would also, he would then um, put some light in your eye and measure how, how much your eye um, reacted to the light. Um, this, this instrument that measures that is called a foropter, and it gives you a unit called diopters, which is used in um, administering contact lenses. So based on how bad your vision is or how good it is, you would get a positive or negative diopter result. All three of these should really give you a pretty good um, indication whether you have an astigmatism or not and what treatments to take. Treatments are up to the discretion of your doctor. Don't go treat yourself and just go out for laser surgery if you, you just feel like you should. Three most important um, and common treatments are glasses, soft, and hard contact lenses. According to Nicholas Galloway in his book, Common Eye Diseases and Their Management, written in 2006, he says that soft contact lenses better form the eye of a person with an irregularly shaped cornea form of astigmatism. So the doctor would then, um, if he knew what kind of astigmatism you had, he would recommend the appropriate type, so don't go um, giving yourself the wrong test or the wrong treatment. Also, um, according to Nicholas Galloway in his book written in 2006, um, a form of uh, surgery that I am liable for and that he thinks I should get is something called a corneal, corneal graft, which is for people with keratoconus. And it's when they take a uh, machine with a sharp 
a uh, sharp device like a scalpel and they would scalp the, uh, the outside of my cornea off, which is extremely painful and expensive. According to the American Optometric um, Association, laser surgery and orthokeratology are two other forms of treatment that are um, good for people with uh, keratoconus and other forms of astigmatism. Laser surgery is expensive, but it helps your eyesight for the rest of your life. And um, what it does is, you can see here that this is an eye with an astigmatism and this is a normal one. It would shave off with a laser the outside of the eye so that your eye would look more normal. And orthokeratology is when your eye is fitted with rigid contact lenses, which over time you would take them when uh, you're going to sleep. Over time, your eye would form to the, uh, the, the rigidity of the contact lenses, and your eye would eventually become normal. Um, this would give you better vision for the rest of your life, and is an extremely popular form of, form of treatment for um, a astigmatism that would make your eye regularly shaped. Now that you know uh, more about astigmatisms, I definitely recommend you go get tested if you failed or you think you did bad on the first test that we did. Um, an example I'd like to leave you on was Janice Ledford in her book, Ocular Anatomy and Physiology, written in 2008. She says that people with astigmatisms have eyes that look more like footballs, and people with regular eyes have eyes that look more like basketballs. People usually have an um, astigmatism in one eye and not the other, so don't go walking around with one eye that looks like a football. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can close it out, please.